A scene like that one may become part of the daily routine for some local students. Administrators in one district considering the use of metal detectors inside the schools. Thanks for joining us at Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jenny Hansen. And I'm Todd Unger. Salem Kaiser schools could actually soon get those metal detectors. A proposal being floated right now just days after shooting off campus that left one teen dead two others seriously injured. Ariel Salk is live tonight down in Salem. She is breaking down the latest on all of this. Yeah, the superintendent tells us that they've been working on this for months, but after last week's tragedy, they decided to move this conversation a little bit faster. Now the idea is to put these weapon detectors in middle and high schools. Last night, they brought up the, this idea at the school board meeting a week after South Salem High Schooler Jose Vasquez Valenzuela was shot near the campus. A child died last week. Um, it could have been prevented with a metal detector as it is unknown if he had had the gun on him that morning. Um, he could have had the gun in the school. We don't know still. When we look at what's going on in our community and specifically the firearm data in our community, we do have to ask ourselves, are we taking the measures necessary to keep our schools safe? But how much would this cost? Previously, the superintendent told Coyne the district is in the hole for $32 million. When asked, she said they will discuss finances later down the road. Now, on March 22nd, they're hosting an event where they can have these devices and allow teachers, parents, students, the community to test them out and see how they're like. Reporting live in Salem, Ariel Salk, Quinn 6 News. The world we live in. Ariel, thank you. And meantime, a